Hi, Jamboree Consultants, my leadership gold diggers. Happy Monday. Hope you had a great weekend. Um, wait a few people to get on here. I know things are getting crazy. We are now halfway through the month and hopefully um, you are enjoying all of the uh, different peers that have been uh, going live and it's so fun. I was recognizing or actually not recognizing but um, realizing that you know I watched uh, just we've had some great people some are more polished than others and some are doing this for the first time and guess what there's always got to be a first time for everything right there always has to be a first time. And I love that people are stepping outside of their comfort zone to do things that they've never done before. So just watching Sarah and the support that you guys gave her on Friday was just marvelous. That even though she had some, you know, glitches and whatnot, you could see her just progress through it and just get more confident. And honestly, I think that's just the fun part of, okay, uh oh, it's starting Monday. <laughs> seeing you guys develop, seeing you guys grow. And I think that's just so awesome that you're going to take some risks. Um, and you know what? It goes beautifully into what I wanted to talk about today. You've heard the phrase or the old adage says that comparison is the thief of joy. And so many times, and I've seen this, and I'm so grateful for those of you who have posted something on there that is motivational and positive that I think somebody posted one about a dog and an elephant, both having, um, you know, babies, basically. And yet an elephant only has one uh, achievement one birth every two years and the puppy constantly having that. And honestly, I look at quality versus quantity a lot of times that we see a lot of people, they may be fantastic at recruiting. How are they getting 11, 12 people in a month? I'm going to tell you, you don't see the other side of it. I do because I get to coach some of those ladies who got 12 people in a month, and guess how many people now down the road are actually working their business? This many, one, okay? Out of 12, how does that happen? It's just the way this business is. But we look at those people and say, they're recruiting 12 people and I can't even get one. Again, the comparison. We don't see the full story. Comparison is the thief of joy. Um, another thing is that, uh, you know, we look at women and we say XYZ is working for her, but it doesn't work for me. Guess what? It doesn't mean that you're bad at whatever you're doing. It's just that you're not that person. You have something different to offer. You've got to find out what you're good at versus what they're good at. I do this all the time going to the gym. I look at this one lady. I'm not <laughs> I'm going to tell you my story here. I showed up at CrossFit for the very first time. I had been doing kettlebell training. I had been teaching kettlebells. I kicked butt at it, okay? I was good at it. I show up to CrossFit thinking that I am all that in a bag of chips. Well, guess what? This girl next to me, I walked out of that place feeling this small. I didn't realize that she was an instructor, that she competed in the CrossFit Games, that she had been a gymnast for her entire life prior to me coming on. I didn't know any of this stuff, okay? And I walked out of there going, oh my gosh, I suck. I don't know if I want to show up again. But I did, and I got to find out a little bit more. I got to find out that she was a gymnast and that she would competed in the CrossFit Games and that, ladies, I don't have that time to devote to it. But I know that I'm good at some other things. I can kick her butt in rowing. I found that out because I continued to find out what I was good at, okay? So the things that might be working for somebody else may not be your particular strengths. 
So why do you keep cutting yourself down and saying, oh, this doesn't work? You have to find out what works for you as an individual. I keep talking about this. Your situation, your unique health situation may not be the same as somebody else's. But it does not mean that you are not good at this business. You have to find out what your uniqueness is, your strengths are. And that's why I have you focus on your strengths and not necessarily your weaknesses. But that doesn't mean that you forget your weaknesses. It means that you need to look at them and see how to overcome them. It's important for us to realize that our strengths will get us to a place, but also reinforcing some of the basics will also make us improve. Okay. Um, you are, remember we talked about brand values, the brand values, be unique, be creative, be generous, be a blessing, be a family, be unique is one of those values that you need to realize that that's what makes you great. Okay. You may have a great way to think about something and train your team. You may have a great follow-up system. You may have a great booking system. You may be great at hostess coaching, but you may not be strong in every single one of those things, but you have to keep working at them just like I do at CrossFit. I still have to come in and I have to stretch because I don't have, I'm not very good in mobility. I still have to do those burpees. And every time I do them, it doesn't mean that they get any easier. It just means that I get better at them and then I just have to work at it. Okay? They never, nothing ever gets easy in this business. I don't care who you are in Jamboree, nothing gets easy. People are going to leave this business. People are not going to work this business. People want to be hobbyists. There are all sorts of things that happen, but you have to put the effort in. You just have to find out what's good for you or what works for you. And I want to make sure that I make sure I hit all my notes today. I want you to um, train your team members to think about this as well, that not everybody is going to be the same. Not everybody is going to be an exact copy, but find out what you're good at and play to your strengths, but continue to do the basics of booking, selling, recruiting, and follow-up. Not necessarily in that order. Um, people are good at what they do because they put the effort into it. Funny thing is that I hear all the time, well, I tried that a couple of times and it didn't work. A couple of times, did that, does that really mean that you put the effort into it? Oh, I tried hostess coaching a couple of times and it didn't work for me. Yeah, that, that wording didn't work for me. Well, guess what? Maybe that isn't your wording. You are trying to take it from somebody else. Tracy has great hostess coaching. The basic principles are there. If you don't have the words to say or feel awkward about it, it will be because you need to find your voice. You need to find it the way that you're going to say it. But she's giving you kind of the basic structure. I say this to everybody. We all have to start out with ice cream to make an ice cream sundae. We all have to start out with that vanilla base, okay? But what you put on top of it, that's going to be up to you. But you need to teach everyone the basic core principles of this business. That if they see somebody doing something that they don't think they can do, that's okay because that's not the important stuff. The important stuff is that ice cream. An ice cream sundae isn't anything without the ice cream, right? So you want to make sure that you teach your team to think the same way, to be unique, but still to play to their strengths and work on their weaknesses, but not dwell on them that they think that they are, you know, oh, I suck at this. Because guess what we just did? We talked about how great you are, and now you just brought yourself down again by going, oh, I suck at this. I look back at my Facebook Lives of when I very first started doing Facebook Live. <laughs> my husband laughed and went, oh my gosh, you were terrible. I don't think I'm that great today. I know that I can get better. 
but I have gotten better because I've put the effort into it and then I've practiced. I practice at what I'm doing. So you too must practice. If you see people that are good at recruiting, it's because they share the opportunity or look for people on their team that they want those specific qualities at every party. On, uh, They engage with people online parties. I tell you face to face like this, even if it's Facebook Live, is much better than just via text. Those of you who have done my coaching calls, how would a coaching call via text be versus talking to me? We can accomplish so much more in a short time. So having those face-to-face -face conversations, looking for people that are engaged in your parties, seeing those qualities, okay? If somebody is good at bookings, it's because they do great hostess coaching. They've practiced the hostess coaching and they use them as a business partner to find those future bookings. If they're great at selling, it's because they know the products and can upsell. So look at what you can improve upon. Not what you suck at, because it's not about sucking. We're talking about what can you do a little bit better, okay? That's what we want you to do. Play to your strengths and then look at what you can do a little bit better. Practice makes progress, and I guarantee it. So what is it that you're going to practice this week? What is it that you can improve upon? And what can you be, how can you be you, how can you be unique in making this business work? Okay, no challenge this week. You guys have been challenged. Uh, uh, there'll be challenges plenty this week. But I want you guys to remember, comparison is the thief of joy. Don't allow you to compare yourself with somebody who has been in this business longer than you or somebody who has a different situation than you. It doesn't matter. You need to run your race your way and you will get to the finish line. It just may not be compared to somebody else, but again, that's not you. You need to be you. All right, guys, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks so much. Bye.